thing. Good morning, peeps. Um, today we're just going to do another uh, video of just driving through some of the villages on Guam. Uh, well, here I'm leaving home and um, heading to to Aganya, to Nigua, Chotis, and then also to Chotis. Oh, just chug you, that's it. <laughs> and then just driving around. So like I said again, I just love this village. And, and GPA has come around two weeks ago or last month, cutting down all of the, the overgrown branches and you know the trees that are overhanging so things don't fall when the, when the rain when the monsoon season really just, you know, increases. So here we are. We're on Mai Mai Road. Mai Mai Chalampago. And I said, like, this is a thoroughfare between Manila and and on to Sinahanya and into Aganya. It's a really nice day. I always enjoy these drives through the village. I'm glad that, you know, the, the village I live in, that the homes are still kind of spaced apart. So people do have yards, ample space. Um, you know. So there's still no work. Unlike some of the busy, busier villages. Like up at my mom's, you know, the Yanya Heights, my parents' place. Uh, the houses are just close to one another. Even though it's a nice village, Dedodo is really congested, but Aganya Heights and Sinohanya is just uh, similar as well. Tight. But I know who has open yards, and that's Talapofo. They really have nice open, open um, Backyards and side yeah, yards. That's what I'm saying. I mean, people yeah. get some ideas. Flat down. Because Chalampago is, is made up of a lot of wetlands. Actually, there's a wetland down in my area. So when it rains, it really gets flooded. You really can't, can't pass. You can't, you can't leave and you can't come in. So we just passed uh, Alpha Central Gardens. Which is a nice secure um, apartment complex. They're almost like townhomes. They're, they're big sized homes or apartments. Here we are in the intersection uh, going down to, if we take a right here, this will take you down to a canyon. Easy bun. Make this a meal with French fries or onion rings and a refreshing Coca Cola. Get your hand bun. Make this a meal with French fries or onion rings and a refreshing Coca Cola. Get your hand. Right. So, the recommendation was adding another side of the I see. So they were only here to uh, review the plans for the monoclonal antibody treatment. It's the morning traffic peeps, but this is the morning traffic after the kids leave. 
so they're already in school. So this is Chalam Pogba going into order. Shell gas station on your left. It's, it's pretty how the tree overhangs, but it's also dangerous and scary. I could fall on you. Beautiful. Look at the sky. Yeah, it's a really nice morning. It's a really nice day. It's not hot. It's just right. There's your Guam school bus. Four dot. Yeah, you're stuck with me. What have I got here? A little bit of traffic up in there. Yeah, you're stuck with me. What have I got here? A little bit of traffic up in there. Beagle Town. Uh, about where the, the schools are going to be here. Because what is it? It's Thursday, right? It's Group B. Making their way into in school. Uh, no. Uh, remember what they say. It's alphabetical order. Yeah, right. Okay, what do we got? You know, I never... Into, 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 into I think this is Eagle where Sinahani starts to come into it. Uh, on like here. It's about Sinahani. Because and this and here is the Chad River. This dip right here. This right here, the bridge. The Chad Bridge. And then the village to your left. And then Ada's funeral home right there on your right. This some traffic. Traffic. I told Edie to check Peter and we got to Little Wang. Check Peter. Peter from um my Yeah, Peter Wang. Oh we just call him Peter Wang. Yeah, Peter Wang. Yeah, because my boys, they're 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 getting big. I mean, Jesus. God, I gotta find out the date when I put the koi in because they're about this big now. I mean, you know, from there, from my thumb to to my middle finger. When I bought them, they were like this. Maybe just like that. All right, this is top of the Sidahanya, top of Sidahanya. And we're going to go down into a canyon. You know, when, when the storm, whenever there's a typhoon, this area going down, it's beautiful because you can see the ocean. I wish you could see more, but you know, our hill's not that high. Like the one in Saipan, but you can see a lot of the ocean. Tomorrow's Wyatt's birthday, seven, seven years old. This drive is always beautiful coming down. McDonald's 
to your left. And then used to be Epicure, right next to McDonald's, which was a sushi, rotary sushi uh, restaurant. It was really good. Very busy. <laughs> <laughs> and then to the right there, you know, Shirley's used to be there, so right now it's cleared, the parking lot is cleared, the building's gone, it's supposed to be Jolly Bees going up, so just waiting for that construction. There's Bank of Guam up ahead on the right side there. <laughs> And then the mural. You know, I didn't know that the mural in the public library, right there on, on your left, right here, by the traffic light. That Of course, that's Lou Young Girl, the governor, the lady sitting telling a story, or look like she's telling a story. I didn't know that there was even another person, even, or other people in that mural nearby. Uh, and that's what Jesse pointed out yesterday that, oh, the bold guy next to it is uh, Josh Tenorio. I was like, really? I don't see where. So he was on the other side. I mean, right next to Lou, but it's on the other side of the tree, looking out or something like that. So that's Josh Tenorio. And then I guess there was other people in the foreground too, but I didn't really see. But it does look like Lou. Okay, hey, we're hanging a left here. We're in Hagatnya, again, yeah, Hagatnya, tomato, tomato. The law firm on your left, uh, on your right, uh, on your left is the Superior Court. And then up ahead on your right is Academy, uh, the Academy of Girls School, Catholic School. And then, of course, the Laddestone Park on your left, right there. And then to your right at the stop sign, that is the again precinct. Police policing. Just like that small one that he likes. Just like the real one. Just like the real one. Just like the real one. And they're like the real one. Just like the And they're like the real one. Just like the real one. Yeah, I want to get him a like the the bin. Like the the bin to throw the so we are in again here. Oh my god, I just passed the building that I used to work at. Um, the independent justice company, which is Cassidy's uh, insurance building. That here is to your right, that's the former Bank of Guam. Like branch closed, and then to your left there, that's the that's the hit rate of 100, 100 uh, station, former location, and we're in Anigua, by the way, peeps, and the district court is just to the right over there. And yeah, it's pointless even saying it. I can't really. I just I didn't show it. But then they say you can mix it. I know, I'm trying to look up in this video as I'm telling you guys, so that way it kind of coincides with the video that I'm looking at and trying to describe. You know this area here in uh, Aniva, this is where, is that Mohan's ice plant? 
There's a Petro's ice plant. Yeah. This is the back of the neighborhood. Really small village. I mean, you know, Anigua, it's like, um, it's just slippery. It's just like really, it's just the, the shoreline of the beach. Is an eagle. We are. Chubbies. Been here forever. Same location. Alright, So now we're leaving Chubbies. Oh. Actually, this is when we pulled up to Chubbies. Now we're going to be leaving Chubby. As soon as Jesse reverses. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that's the main strip out there, Anigua. And you can see Ace Hardware out there on the street. So there's Chuckies. No. Passing by. So we're gonna take a we're gonna turn around, we're gonna go behind Chotis. Yeah, this is behind that area. The apartments behind Choti, Mart. Not very many homes and look a lot of a lot of abandoned you know, like apartments that are just left to rot. But yeah, this is about like the edge of Anigua. I mean, literally the edge. See that bright fuchsia pink building in between those buildings there? That's a flamingo restaurant. Mm, yum, yum. That's where you get your chicken and beef tatutsa and their salad's really good. Chopsticks good too. So here we are, Nigua. This is on the street, there's down the street, down into Chodis, mobile. Uh, King's Auto Parts. I don't know what that building is. And that's a party building. That used to be a lot of karaoke's in that area. At Siam Thai restaurant. A lot has changed in the Nigua. Coming up, here's House of Chinti. The new House of Chinti. Well, not so new. But a lot of the buildings here, see the corn building is all gone. So that's an empty lot right there. It has changed drastically. Anigua used to be a party central. It was like somewhere in Thailand or Bali or Philippines. There you go, District Court. KFC, the International Gym. Um, too bad, the other side is... Because we're on the sitting on the passenger seat. There's the Addis Building and there's the Aganya, former Aganya um, Theater, GCIC Building, and the Army or Navy Recruiting Center. But uh, we're driving along the beach, so too bad we can't see it because, yeah, filming from the passenger seat. So yeah, I mean, this is, that used to be a former car lot, Volkswagen, with a Volkswagen bug on the top. Now here we are, we just transition into, let's see, where are we? <laughs> Are we in Anigua again? Lord peeps. Oh, I, let me put on my glasses. Oh, I think we are, yeah. This is the back of Anigua again? My gosh, I'm lost. Hmm. It'll come to me, peeps. Yeah, it is Anigua. <laughs> Yeah, because there's the mango trees that's right there um, across the street. I forgot whose house is that. We used to hang out there, my family, because the Salgados lived along the beach right 
in that area uh, where Acme is behind Acme. So here we are, driving through Inigua again. This time from the front view, not the side. Look at the sky, it's really bright. The sun is particularly large today, this morning. So we're gonna take a little stroll. Going through Inigua, like I said, this used to be very busy. I mean, to your left there, that was like the Buy Me Drinky Clubs and X-Rated. They, oh, you know, because uh, I was younger, so I was like, oh my God, they they they, they show X-Rated videos there and like power nightclubs and you know, it's just really red light district. That's what it was. Anigo was a red light district back then, and then here along the beach in Anigua. Which is good now we get to see it but long ago growing up in the 70s early 80s you could line the beach people would line the beach and just hang out drink barbecue any time of the day and night but since they uh paved it and cemented and you know added stuff and beautified it can't just loiter so here we are on your left again is the Aganya Boat Basin or we're coming up on the Aganya Boat Basin and also uh, that is the same area where which is called the Paseo and there you can see that towering building their structure that is the um, Chamorro Village but I think that's the lighthouse they call that and this, the Aganya Stadium is in that area too. So we're just passing along here in Aganya, Agatna, the capital, talk and the business area. The video, to, to our left is Chief Kapua, to our right is the Bank of Hawaii. And here we are at the intersection that would take you to your right, that would take you all the way to Aganya, up to Sanahanya, up to my home, to Chalampago. Well, here we are, we're going into East Aganya. To your right is Mescla Restaurant, and coming up ahead is uh, Glam Model Spot. Oh, here we are, we're turning. We're taking a right, we're gonna go up into Mong Mong To Mighty. And I think this is where you could say this is Mong Mong, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I've, I've always been kind of like, Confused where the boundaries were, Bongbong Toto Mighty, but this is Bongbong. Yeah, there's a laundromat here on your right. Things have changed. Used to be Rainbow Market on the on the right here on the intersection, and we would just, you know, uh, that's where you could get food 24/7. And I think they did bingo there or something like that. I'm not sure. But here we are at the intersection. This is still. Mong Wong and then I guess oh. yeah traffic light up ahead uh, on your left will the, the first tall building will be the first Hawaiian bank and then after that would be um, and these are apartment complexes, complexes along the way but yeah, this structure here with the A-frame building, that's uh, first Hawaiian Bank, and then the next one will be Coast 360. <laughs> and the busy places are, are those along the strip as well as after that is Kwangwa, which is a home, home, dec uh, home furnishing place. There you go, that building on your left. And stay well too. Which used to be before that, uh, there was a building there and it was Gold's Gym. Across the street here on the right side is Shop for Less. Um, and then, you know, it's kind of more that complex is that building where uh, Townhouse Furniture is at and also San Jose uh, Grocery Store right here at the intersection on your right. And then to your left is the, the road into Tizen. Tizen meaning the central oh, no, the island just, center. With the it's belly, just good enough to belly uh, be so serious all the time, but why? Yeah. Yeah. 
to our right is Cars Plus. You know, because you have to be responsible. We have to, I don't want I just thought like one day just look, I don't care. It's not, I don't oh, care. Oh, so then, yeah, this is all my tea. My tea, my like, tea, my tea. You know. And then another intersection. Um, what do you call that? Comply. My tea. Yeah, Payless and my tea. Just, and then yeah, after that. Live. Right like after Payless, my tea on this intersection well, is Benson, you know, which like an is just borderline. It starts to start at life and just learn actually about, totally falls you know, towards the back. That green thing that's, that's on the ground, or I know you can pull it and eat it, or it's grass, or stuff like that. So here we are, my tea. Because it just keeps bringing you back and to. Then told you. The innocence of life, the, and then we keep you know, on going to talk to the beginnings, the beginnings when it was good, coming up to your right to realize and side again sucks. after the <laughs> traffic light. Well, life doesn't that's suck, an intersection that will take you into talk to and over into harvest you uh, see around you. Christian Academy School. And right at this intersection, too, turning beautiful day, beautiful clouds. Yeah, this this empanada is easier to eat. You're not feeling as guilty as that other one you got. The other one you know you're gonna have a heart attack. I mean, it doesn't even look like they even drain it or they even, they, they don't, it doesn't even look like they even put it on paper towel or anything, right? When I says looking to finish. Wow, this is nice. Nice. That's good KFC as a and this place is gonna be good. Ooh, classic restaurant. The Chinese. What's the name of this hotel? Is it still a hotel? I wanna go swim there again. I want to rent there and go swimming there. That's that's a really good hotel. I think I need to do a, a staycation over there. Just for us to do swimming pool. You know, because I want to do the mermaid thing. I want to do some swimming under the water. Danger, danger. Beautiful okay. drive this morning. Look at the sun, it's still bright. Right, mini mark. Clouds mm. are so fluffy in the air, in the sky. Safety inspection specific auto service. Yeah, so this is a busy, busy, busy. Oh, right, I'm sorry. Uh, the recording keeps stopping on me, and I'm getting tired. My eyes are just like, oh, I can't keep it open. I don't understand Local why. I just woke up. Store? Anyhow, so here we are, we're still in Barragato, the Purple uh, Heart Highway. It's a busy highway in the morning. House of Liberty. And it's a long My recording keeps stopping, so I can't really stay so long. But anyhow, again, here we are, we're still going through Barragato. We're going to be taking a right Moving here the at the intersection. Grace. This is so um, going into Barrag. Uh, well, we're still in Barragada, so but Shell so Gas graceful. Station is here on the corner, here on the things. on the right side, and then across the street is 76 Station. Yarn there, right? Then of course, right after 76 Station is our favorite store, Happy Mart. But here we are. We're taking a turn here, and right after Shell Gas Station, which sorry you won't be able to see, but right here we, we're just passing it, uh, right. Crown Bakery. Huh? Here's the Barragata mural. Oh. And then I'll be here is the abandoned and former that's where you get your pizza hut. Feet? No, you see. Yeah, you can see the red hut. It just takes forever. So and then on the left side, fast. coming up on the left side of the street here is uh, Antoine Middle Square. Cars. I taught yeah. there for. Hmm. I thought Delta was a uh, like a 
I don't know, two years, I think. Yeah. Which, right next to it, too, is Wendy's. Oh God, those ones are nice in there. And this is, an, like a, this yes, this is, here. again, a busy, busy uh, highway. Well, it's the main hub up like that would take you all the way up to the University of Guam, all the way into Menino. Right now, we're still in Barragata. We'll be coming up to the to the end of Barragata and beginning of Manilao. I'm looking mm. there at the left side. That's Tony Camacho's mom's area. So here we are. There's a sign right there, you know, and now we are leaving Barragata and entering Manila. Like Welcome it. to Manila, peeps. The other thing is that and oh, there's a store on the left, the right there. Is that is Chief really Brothers. Cute. I love that store. It's I'm just knick knacks and things up. like that. And then like to the right up. here is laundromat. I don't and know what it's really called. I don't even know. So worried about the trip. Like, and then, of uh, course, in this village along this strip, on our left side like here, thing. we'll be coming up with the American Medical Clinic. Across the street from that will be state. Champions um, Sports Sports Shop. And then right next to, um, right here, see, there's. We're passing by, well, the, see, there's a construction going on here on the left-hand side, uh, right next to American Medical Clinic, so I don't know what that's going to be. But here we are, you can see Santa Teresita Church there on the left up ahead, and there's right in front of us, that's Price Elementary School, and we're turning in I don't really know to, really we're still in Manila, and we're I mean, just yeah, all of Manila. Yeah, there's a lot of selection, uh, On our right here is the I Department of Agriculture. Thing. $15 worth of buffet. And some Which of those satellite stations is right across the street. Things, like, on the left side. And then it's like And then so we're back on Derry Road. And this concludes. But yeah, my, you know, I like <laughs> I like that. My tour you with you guys because it's just gonna lead us right over to you can have a the Department of, of Corrections. It's just all there. You know, because we're and still in Mingy now. Yeah. All right. So here we are. Thank you for joining me on this nice drive. Um, heading home. Have a nice day. Stay safe. It is Thursday, the end of September. Tomorrow is October 1st, and also why it's birthday. You'll be seven. So happy birthday to my baby boy. And take care, you guys. We made it through another month. Let's let's get over October, November, and December. Really? Yeah. All right. I got Oh, but you know, uh, I don't know. Buffets are really not good for nighttime. They should be only br brunch. I mean, they're you know they're for dinner, but lunch and brunch is good for buffets because yeah, the rest of the day they burn it off, right? You're yeah. All that food, and they're like, oh, going to sleep. Yeah, you feel like you feel sick by the time you go to sleep. You're just gonna feel uncomfortable and you go wake up pissed off and hungry and all that. <laughs> See, last time I was so mad I got up late.